It's Taco Tuesday! It's okay. It's not racist because LeBron says it. It's, LeBron says it's it. It's great. Racist. If I said Fried Chicken Friday? Nah, Taco Tuesday. Would that be a thing? I. If I said <laughs> Pupusa, oh no, it doesn't match with anything. Saga Pupusas are, del are delicious. I they welcome are delicious. back to the Daily Dose. My name is Teddy Moore. This is Melissa Rios. Hello. And all you got to do is go ahead and hit subscribe down below. You get notifications anytime we drop a video. You want to see us. You want to hang out with us because today we are talking about uh, a friend. Nah, well, your homie. friend. You yeah. just saw him recently. Right. So, young We dog. have no rhythm whatsoever. <laughs> One more time, ready? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. It's two. All right, I'm done, I'm All done. Right, All right, we're we talking about Young Jock. Okay, so All he right. was spotted <laughs> allegedly pulling up with this new pull-up app share ride. What is it? A ride uh, Pull up ride share, yeah. Anyway, you know service. how Lyft, how you know Uber, all of these different car services, they go pick you up from wherever you need to. Well, it turns out that Young Jock pulled up and gave these ladies a ride. Now the video has gone viral ever since because they're kind of telling him like, what, like they're trying to clown him. Right. right. They posted the video and a lot of artists have already commented. Snoop Dogg went in the comments and said, hustlers hustle. Like, how are you going to shame this man for making money? Regardless if it's Young Jock or Snoop Dogg driving a Lyft or an Uber. Like, why are you shaming them for making their money? There's nothing wrong with that um, at all if that's what it was. I know there's a lot of comedians or like actors that you've seen grow up, right? Mm -hmm. Like they have their fame when they're younger. Right. And then... In their intermediate time before they blow up again and before they pop off again, they gotta get regular jobs. Right. I know personal friends that have done that. Is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong making an honest, good living because if they were out there doing other shit, then you would criticize them for it. Do you right? remember? I oh gosh, it slipped my mind, but he was an actor back in the yeah. 90s. Yeah, yeah. And then it was a Cosby or 80s show or, or something like yeah, that. Yeah. And then he was working at Trader Joe's. Somebody spotted him and recognized him and they shamed him about it. He got more work because of that. Yeah. So God works in mysterious ways. But I think with Jock, I had just seen Jock on the set a while now. Matter of fact, here's the photo right here. Take a look. Oh, I mean, okay, you yeah, see, he's good. iced out. He looks good. The shoes are good. Uh, yeah, okay. my, my, my ice is not real. Oh, but right. that's, that's, that's costume. Don't worry that's about that. Different. Okay. But Jock is good. Jock is great. He has his radio show in Atlanta. I think this is more of a... Uh, a promo. A marketing strategy, right? right. He, he, I'm sure he owns some part or he is paid to Being advertise. sponsored because he actually already posted a screenshot of the pull-up uh, app and it said it like, is. hey, is, is, does anyone need a ride to the club where he's going to be hosting or something? <laughs> like, I might just pull up or whatever. Like, so it, there's kind of a strategy behind it, I think, one. And if there wasn't and he was just working, let the man work. The man does radio and he, obviously he does He music, obviously right? needs money then because we do radio too and we broke. So I get it, John. I get it. And I wasn't ready for that. That is actually true. <laughs> oh, Pay I us. I get it because... Pay us. I'll tell you something. I, I work for radio and I drive my kids and the neighbor's kids to the soccer yeah. uh, games and they pay me. So that's my side hustle. <laughs> Jock knows about good content. He knows this is great content. Matter of fact, we're talking about it here on Power 106. Congrats. This is, this is great content. So salute to Jock. Also want to salute him because he always finds a way to stay in people's mouths. Pause. Um, right? Like whether it's his hairstyle, the way he dresses, and now he's driving a, a, a pull a ride service. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Thing like he's he's smart. He mm -hmm. knows what he's doing, and he also has one of the greatest commercial verses of all time. Mm -hmm. Buy you a drink, T Pain. Don't sleep on Young Jock's <laughs> first there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm checking your body language. I love the conversation. And when you lick your lips, I get his team sensation. Young Jock, salute you, man. But but if, if Jock was really uh, a ride service driver, would that be bad? It'd be Ma lit. Matter of fact, if, one, if, if an artist, actor, or whoever, if, if after their time popped off and they got a regular job. Stop shaming people for that making bad? their money, one, and two, Jock, if you are a lift rider, please make sure to have a charger back there for those of us who want to charge their phone while we're in the ride. Maybe some mints, a water bottle. Nothing's useful. Thank you. Hey, but you know, if young Jock was driving you somewhere, you know what? You know what would happen, right? I meet me in the glass. Hey, here we go. Hey, mm -hmm. comment down below. Comment down below, man. Express what you feel. This is the daily dose. It is regular 
Tuesday.